So I'm at baseball practice today and it's it's cloudy but it looks a lot worse on the camera than it does in real life. So hold on, let me switch this around to me. Hello, hello everybody, hello. I got baseball dirt on me. So Okay, so I get on here and I'm talking about real estate, real estate, real estate, auctions, 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 and I love it, love it, love it, and I realized how weird social media is, okay? So my name is Whitney Nicely East, and I am the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We're in Tennessee and we're in Georgia. I'm a real estate auctioneer. I do online real estate auctions for fancy houses, properties, equipment, not equipment, but properties, um warehouses big stuff right and it's really cool because I'm all real estate all the time and I've started and y'all let me know if you think this is true I've started to do where I do so much social media I do so much online I do so much that I am so used to talking to people who already know my story so when I show up at baseball practice like this, I'm surrounded by people that don't know my story. And I'm thinking, if you would just friend me on Facebook, if you would just follow my blog, if you would just, you know, listen to my Instagram posts or my YouTube videos, then, you know, we could skip this whole, oh, how's the weather, how is football season, blah, 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 because social media is how we know each other now. And that is just so weird. Like, Social media started as, you know, this is kind of what I do when I'm bored, but now it's that social media is what, who I am. It's where I get my identity. It's how I get my friends. It's how I meet different people. It's how I get connections. It's how I get, you know, leads on properties. It's not that I sit in the stands with the other parents and don't talk to them. It's... Sorry, my phone was ringing. It was that... I sit here and I talk to the people in the stands and I go to basketball games and I talk to people at the basketball games, but it's always just, you know, chit chat, just general, hey, how's your kid, blah, 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 blah. And it's not ever, you know, the real estate. It's not what I want to talk about until they follow me on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere and then they really get to know the me. And I just think that's weird because it used to be that you need to know somebody before you could be friends with them on Facebook and you would know them in real life and then everything would back it up. So, it's just weird. I think real, uh, social media has got, gotten so weird and I love it. You know I love it because I'm on Periscope and Blab and all real estate all the time, but it's just kind of weird, isn't it? So, remember that you're real people too. I don't know who these people are blasting in here, but let's see if I can block them. Um, okay, so I had to block a bunch of people. Sorry. Um, anybody have any kind of real estate questions, though? I know. Yes. It used to be that we had to communicate by letters and then by phone. It has evolved. I just think it's so weird. And so I'm sitting in the stands and my oldest stepson is on the same team that he's on last year, but I didn't really bond with those parents like I did my youngest stepson's people. And so the youngest stepson, when I go to those practices and those games, they know that I'm gonna talk about real estate and I'm gonna do this and that and the other. And these people don't know me, so they don't know to talk about real estate until I become friends with them. And that, that just seems weird. Um, no, I'm not going to change how the internet corrupted the world, but I, I just want to make sure that you are talking to real people and you are, you know, actually, you know, spending time with real people and not just on social media. And I, I'm, you know, the pot calling the kettle black here since I'm on social media when I should be talking to the moms in the stands. But um, somebody asked how to get into renting and, oh, it's just practice. I think it's actually kind of a tryout. They're just running around the bases. Um, how do you get into renting? Well, it depends on where you are right now. Do you own a house that you live in right now? Can you start renting it and you move into somewhere else? Or do you want to buy vacant land? Because my brother and I bought a half acre of vacant land a couple years ago. And, I mean, just raw land, right? And we happened, didn't happen to, we bought the land because it was beside the city waste management. So the city 
has a you know trash pickup and we bought the land next to where they take the trash to compact it to take it out to the landfill or the recycling center or whatever so it was very strategic in the way we bought we didn't just buy a half acre of random land but we only paid fifteen hundred dollars for it i think the hud statement says that we paid fifteen thirty seven and eighty six cents so just a smidge over fifteen hundred bucks no we didn't buy a dump we bought industrial land half acre of industrial land land next to where the trucks come through and where they crush the cardboard to take it to the cardboard processing plant. So we didn't buy a dump, no. We bought raw vacant land with a bunch of trees on it. All in, all done, we bought it at a online auction, absolute online auction. So top bidder got the land and after we had the land for about six months, it took some time for my brother to go and clear it. We put some gravel on it and then we rent it to the city waste management for $250 a month. So yes, we sat on it. We sat on it for, yeah, I am the auction queen. Thanks, Jay. We sat on it for six months before we actually made any money, but we made $250. We still have it. We still get $250 a month off raw land. So it took us, you know, a year to make our $1,500 back and now we get $250 a month free and clear. I wrote it into the lease where the city pays our property taxes every year. So I don't have to save up for property taxes. And if it's vacant land, you don't have to save up for a plumbing repair. On raw land, you don't have to have a roof fund. So if you're going to start buying and renting, I really suggest that you check out auctions absolute auctions or check out um, tax sales because a lot of times you can get a half acre of land at a tax sale for a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars and you can rent it to the neighbor you can rent it to whoever's around it now you know I've got some stipulations on what I want around a vacant piece of land but you can buy it and rent it you don't have to be a real estate agent to buy at auctions. Um, a legitimate auction online, every auctioneer in your area has a website. And every auctioneer in your area has a license to do what they're doing. Real estate auctions have to be real estate brokers and they have to be auctioneers. So if you want to buy at auction, sign up for the auctioneers around you email list. If you don't want to buy in your area, say your mom lives in South Carolina and you want to buy land in South Carolina and eventually move to South Carolina, then sign up with the auctioneers in that area and buy something there. Um, Jason is my husband and he and I are looking at buying land and houses in Georgia. We're in Georgia right now. Today, his kids live in Georgia. I live in Tennessee, so we're back and forth from Georgia to Tennessee all the time, but if we're going to be back and forth, we might as well have some houses in both places. We might as well have some apartments in both places. We'll have some um, vacant land in both places to make sure we got some money coming in to support our lifestyle of hopping back and forth. And um, another thing you can do is there's, you know, government. Auction.com is linked up with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and HUD and all those. And they sell foreclosed homes at auction online. There's another way. You could go once a month to the county tax sale and buy stuff then. So there's lots of different ways you can buy land, houses, buildings at auction. My auction website is acre.bid, A-C-R-E dot B-I-D. Um, I've got nicely done auctions. That's my auction company. Whitney Buys Houses is my real estate company. And I've got, you know, websites for those. But social media is weird. And it's changing how we're doing things. So... I saw a post on Instagram earlier this morning that said, if you're not on live video, you need to be. And I fully believe that. Totally believe that. Because um, I love Periscope. I love Blab. But there's a bunch of other live feeds that I just don't do. I pick two, Periscope and Blab, and that's my thing. So all real estate, all the time. Um, if you are in real estate and you're a woman, I run a Facebook group for all women all about real estate. My Facebook page is Whitney Nicely East. Um, Whitney Buys Houses has a Facebook page, and let's see, all my websites are nicelydoneauctions.com, 
WhitneyBuysHouses.com. Acre.bid is where I have my auctions if you want to look at buying some of my land or houses or whatever I have listed there. And I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, if you're interested in coaching, real estate coaching, or you want to know more about me and what I do and what I offer and why I'm talking about real estate <laughs> all the time, uh, WhitneyNicely.com is my website. And if you have any questions, you can email me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Again, that Facebook group, if you're interested in real estate and you are a woman, sorry guys, it's all women, all about real estate. That's our Facebook group. All women, all about real estate. And we just talk about real estate. Sometimes we talk about pretty houses. Sometimes we talk about what we're doing. Sometimes we talk about what we should be doing. <laughs> uh, but we also cover some issues and questions we have, you know, different stuff. And there's all sorts of different people about real estate in there. So if you have any questions for me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. And I hope to see you again on another Periscope. Bye.